Hi there, this is Anoop and today we are going to talk about how to fix Outlook client vulnerability for Windows platform or Windows devices, Windows PCs. So we are going to discuss about different options here, manual way and automated way, how to understand whether users Outlook client is impacted with this issue or vulnerability which is published by Microsoft on 14th March during the past Tuesday we have covered zero day vulnerability of Outlook client in the March patching report video so if you have not seen that please refer to the link over here so we are going to discuss about options to fix this issue mainly we are going to concentrate on automatic fixing using Intune SSEM and we are going to check whether there is any task scheduler option to force auto update etc etc so don't skip it let's go and check it out let's check outlook client vulnerability in this video we are going to talk about what is this vulnerability and how to fix it and what what are the best options to fix it is there any option to force update or what are the ways to ensure that your outlook client is secure all these things we are going to look into in this video let's go to the next slide so this is the vulnerability we are talking about SVE 2023 that is the vulnerability that we are talking about and this is for Microsoft Outlook client it is elevation of privileges vulnerability and it is not publicly disclosed before Microsoft disclosed it on 14th March and Microsoft already confirmed that the exploitation was detected before publicly disclosing this vulnerability it seems Microsoft initially detected this back in 2022 but the fix is released on 2023 March it is important to understand this issue is regardless of where your mail is hosted whether it's on exchange online exchange server or some other platform but this issue is mainly for the client side microsoft outlook client side and you can see more details about vulnerability over here an attacker who successfully exploit this vulnerability could access a user's net ntlm v2 hash and that could help attacker to use this hash to authenticate against other services as a user so that is going to impact and the other important point to be noted here is exploitation will happen even before user reads or views the mail from the preview pane so user doesn't need to open the mail or view it from the preview pane before that attacker can take these details and use that for some other services so we have exploited explained lot of these and along with some mitigation steps which Microsoft published in the CVE article in the previous video you can refer to that over here if you click on I button in YouTube now let's go to the next slide this slide we are quickly going to cover the mitigation steps which Microsoft released this is not needed if you already updated your client if I understand it correctly I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this but as you can see the guidance below provides an additional mitigation which can reduce the risk of web dev based attacks until updated version can be applied so for your organization session if you have some concerns with updating the latest version of Outlook and other office application this is not only about Outlook updates right it is all about office application updates even though the vulnerability is for Outlook when you update the version of Outlook other applications will also get updated so if you have some concerns about version updates for your organization then you can reduce the risk by using this mitigation option if you want to have more details pause the video and read all this information and I will provide the link in the description of the video so that you can check it out let's go to the next slide in this slide what we are going to see is impacted versions of Outlook client so all the supported versions of Windows Outlook client Windows Windows Outlook client is impacted so there is no impact for other platforms 
platforms such as Android, iOS, Mac OS, even Outlook Web or Microsoft 365 services. Those are not impacted with this vulnerability. Only the thick clients, Windows clients are impacted. Now let's go to the next slide. Now let's see what are the options to fix the vulnerability or fix the Outlook client vulnerability. There are different methods to fix the Outlook client by updating Office apps to the latest version. So Microsoft provides many options to update the Office application or Microsoft 365 apps to the latest version you can do it manually this is important you can assess whether the outlook client is impacted or not from this script more details are available in the description of the video now let's go back to different options we discussed about manual and then there's an option to update office application using sccm and in tune option is also there and there's group policy option as well so we will see all these in details in the coming slides so let's go to the next slide as we discussed in the previous slide this is already covered let's have a look at this particular table supported versions office application supported versions are updated all the channels are updated on March 14 as you can see over here so when Microsoft published the zero day vulnerability about Outlook client on that day itself office apps are updated all the channels for all the different versions and check out the build number over here and we can target updates based on the build number if you like we will see that in the next slide especially for in tune scenario now let's go to the next slide in this slide we are going to talk about a task scheduler which is going to help you to force office automatic update so if you go to task scheduler and if you go over here expand Microsoft and go over here office you would be able to see a task called office automatic update 2.0 and this task ensures that your Microsoft Office installation can check for updates if you right click on this task and click on run it will immediately run it won't wait for this weekly schedule or any other triggers so this is the one of the way to force automatic update of office applications using task scheduler now let's go to the next slide in this slide we are going to talk about manual method to update outlook application so even if it is only for outlook once you start updating it will trigger update for all the office application that includes word excel powerpoint go to file office accounts office updates and then update options click on this and you will see update now option click on that that will trigger the update as you can see over here it is now downloading the updates and as I mentioned over here while downloading the updates you can still use office applications such as outlook client etc etc but once it is downloaded you need to close it before installing the updates it it will ask for closing the applications if the applications are open so in my scenario PowerPoint was opened Outlook was opened OneNote was open so I need to click on continue over here to close those applications and continue with the updates now once I close all the applications you can see the updates are getting applied on my office application that includes Outlook client as well this means updates were installed successfully now you can start using office application in my scenario I didn't restart the Windows PC I just started using the latest version of office application let's go to the next slide how can you check the latest client version outlook client version if you go to file office account office updates and click on outlook about outlook as you can see over here click on about outlook and then you would be able to see the latest outlook client version and in this case it is this 161302298 the client version might vary depending on the channel you are in these are the different channels and the client build version will vary depending on the channel you are in so I am in current channel that is why you can see this version over there now let's look into SSEM options how to deploy office application updates using SSEM so you can use SSEM patch mechanism to deploy office updates to Windows PC you can create ADR rules for that ADR rule will 
will search for the criteria which you set and based on that it will automatically create the software update group and then deploy the updates to windows pcs applicable windows pcs so this is very straightforward method i'm going to include some of the videos over here so that you can refer to that you can check out what are the SSCM method i will also add a link to the description of the video where we have explained how to use this feature of SSCM to update office 365 or office apps let's go to the next slide this is important for intune what are the options i'm going to use settings catalog even though there are different options to deploy this particular policy to force all the clients to a target version of office application so go to settings catalog and then if you don't know what a settings catalog you can refer to a video over here and i will also add a link down in the description of the video so that you can refer to that so in the settings catalog settings picker you can search with target version and click on office 2016 machine update category and in that category you would be able to see a target version settings click on that target version settings and enable it and provide a build number you want to force from where you can get the build number i have shown that in the previous slide there's a table you can get the different build versions from this table depending on the channel your clients are in so once this is set what will happen is automatically force devices with previous versions of outlook to the latest version target version mentioned over here this is already documented by microsoft so i will link that also seen. in the description of the video now that you have seen all the details details about outlook vulnerability it is only impacting windows outlook client it won't impact other platforms and even outlook web is not impacted with this vulnerability because it is ntlm based vulnerability as you have seen in the video a quick recap we have discussed about manual way to update it to give you an overview what is the experience of that and we discussed about different options different channels and build numbers and we have seen all the office or microsoft apps 365 channels are updated on march 14th we discussed about sscm and intune options to deploy the latest outlook client updates to managed devices hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around